let's talk about rare earth minerals. At this point, I understand that China controls about 80 percent of the production of the world's rare earth minerals. In your mind, how much danger are we in? Well, Hadley, first of all, it's great to be with you from South Africa. And look, this is a major concern for the United States and I think for the rest of the world. We need, as we are going into a cleaner, greener, and entirely new energy system, whether it's renewable energy or electric vehicles, we have to make sure that we have a uh, diversified supply chain. We can't have a supply chain that is uh, concentrated and in any country for that matter. It doesn't matter which country that is. So we have to make sure that from the mining to the process and refining to the building of uh, the batteries or the, the wind turbines, that we have a diversified system that we can all uh, be well supplied for. That is the only way this will work from an economic perspective. Yeah, it's fascinating because this was even on the mind of the Saudi energy minister over the weekend. He was talking essentially about China and he essentially said, if people thought OPEC plus is a cartel, you haven't seen the real cartel yet. In your mind, is there a danger that we could be held hostage to China? You know, I don't want to be talking about being held hostage. At the end of the day, China is doing um, what they think is right for them. They're trying to build an economic engine out of the in, in the clean energy space, and we need, all need to do the same. President Biden has talked about this for quite some time. In fact, you mentioned the energy minister in, in Saudi. Uh, we talked about this when President Biden was in Saudi. We talked about uh, making sure that we don't repeat the mistake in the 21st century that we made in the 20th century. And we have to learn from those, uh, from what we went through in the oil and gas energy space as we transition to a new energy uh, market that relies still on natural resources. They may not be oil and gas, but they're still natural resources and they're not abundant everywhere in the world. So we have to make sure from the United States perspective that we have a supply chain for the U.S. And that's what the uh, legislation that we passed in the United States is trying to do. But broadly speaking, the G7 got together and said, we have to work together, the G7 nations and others, to make sure that we have uh, access to critical minerals, to rare earths, and to have the processing. It's not just about the mining. It is also about where the processing is. If you look at graphite, I think something like 93 or 95 percent of graphite processing is done in China. Uh, and we have to make sure that yeah. we have a more diversified system when it comes to uh, manganese or uh, lithium and cobalt and nickel and copper. These are all critical for the energy system that we're trying to build for the future.